Hello guys and welcome back to another Minecraft Forge modding tutorial and in this episode we will be going to discover tile entities which are custom modeled blocks that can store data. So this will be quite a long tutorial so I'll have to split it up into three parts. And today we will be going to create the model and the rendering class. So in Minecraft as an example a tile entity is a chest, a cauldron or a dispenser. So what exactly is the use of a tile entity? The chest can store items in it, the dispenser can store items in it and the cauldron can store which potion is in it. So tile entities can be used for all storing of data because they have a net boot tag compound. Which is just Spanish for you right now, but yeah, we'll be going to discover this in one of the next episodes. So, that's it for now, and now let's get coding. So now, first of all, we're gonna need a program called Techni. It's totally free and legal. Download link is in the description. So what we're gonna do now is create our model. The model name is model table because we are going to model a table. And the texture size is, let's say, yeah, 64 by th uh, 32. Now click on create and using this button here we can create a new um, shape. And this, go this dimension is going to be 16 by 1 by 16. And 16 is basically just a size of a Minecraft block. So now we will have to update the positions to minus... Seven, I think and also in that in Z direction to minus seven and then let's see put it on a proper height value now X is one is minus one two and that is also minus one yes that looks pretty all right now let's go into the side view and put it in a little bit up so like this and now we'll have to create a lag. So the lag is basically just 2 by 2. And then let's see. Let's put it underneath the tables. Table thing me. And how high is it? Oh, it's 1 too high. So let's see. We're gonna make it 14 uh, by height. And then just put this one. Um, Thing away from the rim and then also put it there you go and now it looks pretty symmetrical I'll put the table a little bit down and now you can copy and paste this shape and you're gonna have to rename the shape because that isn't done by Techni automatically now let's see it is at minus 7 and 10 so put this to 10 and minus 7 and there we go and this must be minus 6 there we go minus 7 okay minus 7 there we go and we will just have to create two other legs so 2 by 14 by 2 put this to 10 in y direction to minus 7 in z direction and to 5 in x direction and now the last leg 14 in height 2 in width and 2 in depth so now put this on 10 in y direction on minus on actually on 5 in Z in X direction and on 5 in Z direction. So there we go and we have a pretty nice table. So you can model any model you want in here. That's your decision and what we'll have to do now is just um, select all these legs by pressing shift and clicking on them and then set the texture offset to a proper value and the texture actually is too small so we will have to um edit this project um edit project and the texture width 
should be uh, texture height should be 64 too. So now um, the texture width should be set properly. Edit, edit project by 64. Then let's do 100. Okay. Now it is set properly. And as you can see, with setting the texture y offset plus, um, we simply. Oh, that was wrong. We simply move the texture on this nice tile up the in the right. Um, oh my god, yeah, now select all the legs, please. Heck me. So, now let's set the texture offset, and this actually is one, two, uh, what? Oh, it isn't, it's one of those. That is two. Oh, there is one. So, now we have set our texture, and what we have to do now is export this into our workspace so and um, file export as java and now you'll have to go into your workspace um of your eclipse and i'll actually export it in here yes model table and then you'll also have to export it as a texture map so you can bind a texture to it so export as texture map table.png and now back into our eclipse workspace there we go so um now i will drag and drop these files into my workspace because somehow um the techni program does not um recognize the files that are from my workspace um so i will go to forge modding forge modding src main java model table and those two i will just drag and drop them one directory here and the model and the table texture has to be of course in the texture slash blocks folder or you can even create a folder in which you will uh, be putting all your tile entity textures now Click on any package and create a new package, not a new class, a new package. New package which is called Tile Entities or Tiles. I will call it Tiles because Tiles is a better name for it. Tiles. And in there, um, we have to create a new class called Tile Entity Table. So a Tile Entity basically is just a class that is applied to a block and in which you can set uh, some data for example an inventory so you can store items in it so we will be doing a um, block that can store items later so just name this tile entity table and this should extend tile entity as easy as it could be, press Ctrl Shift O to import everything and close the class by pressing Ctrl W. Now, create a new, there we go, create a new package. It's a mysterious.mods.tutorialmod.models. I actually have already created it, but I will create another one. Dot models, and in there, all our Techni model classes will be. Found. So just put it in here and now as you can see there are some errors in the class first of all You'll have to delete these lines up here and also the fields and now press Control shift O to import everything Okay, and now as you can see the um, What? Yeah, there is a map item renderer. We don't need this um, and now as you can see it its name is model model, but we will have to rename the type as model table. Now, the only thing we have to do now is to add an entity attribute down here to the set rotation angles. And this will be um, just entity entity. And now, while hoovering over this super dot set rotation angle, simply press add argument. And there you go. You have this entity attribute in there. Now. In this render method, also hover over it and add, add, argument, add, add arguments 
And there you go, you have this entity field in there, and this is basically everything we have to do for the model table class. Now, as we have done it for the entity, we will have to create a rendering system for the tile entity. So, this is basically just the same as for the entity, just with a little changes, and we will also have to create an item that can... A red that can render in 3d in the inventory so first of all we will gonna have to create the renderer so in our rendering package create a new package called pile entities pile entities and in there create a new class called render table and this should extend Tile Entity Special Renderer, which is the rendering class for all Tile Entities. Import everything, of course. Tile Entity Special Renderer. So if it does not import it automatically, then simply import it manually. There we go. Okay, and now it wants some methods from us which is the render tile entity add method and now we'll have to add a new variable which is a new instance of our model table so put model table up the top here model table call this model import everything and then in the constructor so do public render table and then a nice bracket and in this we will just set the model equals new model table so we have a new instance of this class in here and that is everything we'll have to do in the constructor now it comes to the rendering part so now it comes to the fancy bits rename first of all the fields here to tile x y z and the scale so um, now we'll have to say OpenGL, which is the rendering system of Minecraft. Um, just as we did it for the entity, that it should translate and rotate the model depending on the position. So do gl11.gl push matrix to open up the matrix for the rendering. And then at the end, of course, import everything gl11.gl pop matrix to say open gl so this rendering process is now over and in there we'll first have to translate all the bits to the proper position which we have in the methods had so gl translate d because they are doubles so d for double and f for float so and now just put in x plus 0 0.5 and this is it plus 0 0.5 simply um translates the entity into the middle of the rendering um so because otherwise it would be at the right corner of the block we want to render so x plus 0 0.5 y minus uh, y plus 1.5 and z plus 1 point uh, plus 0 0.5 this is everything we have to do for the translation now. Put in a space behind the comma so it looks nicer. And then we'll have to flip the whole model, which we can do by rotating it around the Z axis. So now do gl11.gl rotate D and then put in the rotation we want to have and then the axis around which it should rotate. So put in 0x. 0y and 1z semicolon at the end and that's everything we need for the rotation now we will want to bind the texture so and um, we can create a new resource location field up here resource location and we can put this on private because no other class needs it and also this one on private private resource location texture equals new resource location and just as for the entity we'll now have to put in a string with the texture path 
import resource location and the texture path can be found right here i will um just right click on this and copy the qualified name which is the name as you can see so assets you can remove assets from that tutorial mod double point textures slash blocks slash table dot png and don't forget the dot png otherwise it will not work now we will have to say minecraft that it should bind this texture so simply do this dot bind texture and put in your texture resource location there we go and we can have a look at this method and what it does it simply gets the, the texture manager and binds it to the texture to the rendering process and now all we have to do now is render our model so if we go into our model class you can see this render method and because these model render renderer classes have an own rendering method we can just call this render method in our render class so simply do this dot model dot render and in the render constructor we will have to put a new entity field which is empty so do in brackets entity null then we'll have to insert 0x minus 0.1y i will not explain these values they are just fixed for techni models um 0 and 0 and then 0.0625f which is the scale then import entity of course and it wants another float from us no oh yeah i've forgotten the f behind this 0 0.1 okay and there we go we now have written our tile entity rendering class so that's it for today's episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did so then definitely leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and in the next episode we will be going to finish the rendering part up and then in the third episode we will be going to create the 3d rendered item in the inventory so we'll see us all next video have a good time